Hello there. In this video, I will give you a quick walkthrough on how to create a new event in your Mint. Let's get started. Go inside your community dashboard and inside the events, find this create event button on the top right. Click on it. And from here, you can create a new event from scratch or you can also use various templates given out here as per your requirement. To use a particular template, simply hover over it, click on use template and you're good to go. You can also use template filters to find various templates. Today, let us create a new event from scratch. Click on create from scratch and firstly, give your event a name. I have given my event a name, but if I want to auto-generate my event name to make it more exciting, then I can click on auto-generate, select the given tone and plug in the event name or the keyword and click on generate. The AI will generate name suggestions after a few seconds. You can also click on regenerate to regenerate the event name. And if you like the event name, simply click on apply and there it is applied as your event name. Now coming down, you can select the start date and end date of the event by simply clicking on this calendar icon and select the event start date. As you can see, the end date has been selected by default. You can click on this calendar icon again and change it as per your requirement. Now you can also select the start time and end time in the same way by clicking on this clock icon and selecting the time of your choice. Same with the end time. Coming down, you can also select the time zone, click on change and find the time zone that suits you and select it or you can also find them by their name. Now coming down, you can also select how will the attendees join this event. First option is virtually that is on the online platform. Second one will be hybrid. In this case, half of the participants will be joining online and half of the participants will be joining from the on-site section. And the third one is in person, which is coming soon. Today we will select virtually and from here you can also set up your event entry type that is who can enter your event and how they can enter your event. Click on change and there we have four type of event entry. The first one is anyone can enter via their unique link. In this case people will be given a unique link and they will be able to join the event only by using that link. Second is only the people who are invited will be able to join your event and the people who can be invited are added through the CSV list. Third one is anyone who has your event link can join after they sign in to your event. And the last one is anyone who has a link can enter your event without signing in with their email address. Once done selecting the event entry, go ahead and save it. Now, coming on to the right, we have the event description. You can type in the event description manually or click on auto generate, select the tone, Plug in the prompt for the AI to generate a description for you. Please do mind there is a character limit. Once done, click on generate. And after a few seconds, the AI will generate this section for you. If you like this description, you can go ahead and apply. Or if you want to edit just a few part of this section, then you can also do so by selecting the section and plug in the details as per your requirement and then click on apply. And there the description has been added. You can use the slider to read through the description. Coming on to the organize by section. This section will be seen by the event attendees on the event landing page. In this section, you can write the name of the person, organization or sponsors who are organizing this event. There is a hundred character limits for it. And lastly, you can provide support email for your attendees, which can be seen on the event landing page. The attendees can reach out to you through this email in case if they have any queries or they need support of some sort. Plug in the email address that you want your attendees to reach out to. Once done, click on continue, which will lead you to this part, which is the format part. In this section, you can choose what kind of event that you want to have. That is the webinar event or the virtual event. Once you are ready, click on create event. And there, your event is successfully created. Now you can go to the various part of this section and edit them as per your requirement. That's all for today. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.